Hello guys, have you ever done something like this in your controller? So creating a record with request fields and then adding user ID on top as a logged in user. In this video, I will show you three ways how to write that code more elegantly instead of just adding user ID at the bottom. So first we can replace all the other fields with request validated. So if you use form request, like I'm doing in my case, all those fields that you specify here are returned as request validated and then we can add whatever we want on top like for example user id so plus operator of php works same as merging to arrays and this is exactly what we want to do here this is an array and user id auth id is an array so this is already shorter and for this specific example we could even move that to one line and have a one liner here like this so that's one way Another way is to set that user ID automatically on the model level. So wherever that creation process comes from, not necessarily from this controller, it may be other API controller or a job or whatever, you would set user ID automatically on the model level here in creating method in the booted. This would be the same as you would create model observer, it's just within the model itself. So I'm already doing that in this demo project with team ID. What we need to do as well is to set user ID as auth ID. Also, don't forget if there is a possibility for someone to create that object outside of controller and outside of session, you would probably need to add a check here if auth check. So if there is a logged in user, only then set those fields because otherwise auth user would throw an error and would not create the record at all. So this is another way. Let's roll it back actually. And I will leave that as it was before. But basically you can set the user ID on the model or observer level. But what I personally like to do is to not use belongs to relationship. So in this case, task belongs to a user, but instead use has many relationship the opposite from the user. So if we go to user class, there are tasks here with has many. So what you can do here in the controller is instead of setting user ID as part of the task, you can create a task for the user. Let me explain what I mean. Auth user here and the routes and form requests should take care of the user actually existing and then you can use that relationship of tasks create and then pass whatever array you want for that task in our case it's request validated so this would be the code and then user id would be set automatically by the relationship from the model and then it's very readable it's in the controller itself so what i start liking more and more maybe i'm getting older here is less hidden logic somewhere in the laravel structure outside of controller and more readable text in the controller so other person in the future would come and read this code and would immediately understand what that does without digging deeper into form requests or other laravel classes so yeah, this is my kind of preferred way. Also three in one tip in this video, which one do you prefer? Or maybe you want to share your versions. How would you write that code? As usual, we can discuss in the comments below. Laravel is great for giving us options to do the same things for better or for worse. And this is one of the reasons why I will probably never run out of topics of daily videos on this channel. So subscribe to the channel to get all of those and see you guys in other videos.